very good evening there hope you are all doing good so let's proceed with the macbook repair it's been so long since i have uploaded a video so here we have a 2015 17 macbook air which is not turning on we have a green light but the power consumption is about 275 milliamps which should be 500 so since we have a light here that's an indication that the 3.42 line is active so now let's check do we have 8.6 volts or not so here it is where it's there so it says 0.8 volts it should be 8.5 or 8.6 it says 8 point sorry 0 0.8 that means there's a short circuit on this line so let me just remove the power here so we have just removed the power so let's check in resistance beep mode what is the resistance to ground on this 0.5 it should be ol so there is a dead shot almost dead shot on 8.6 volt line so the board looks entirely clean there is no problem with the board whatsoever so this is the time wherein we rely on thermal inspection to check what's getting hot on the board so let me just get back to the thermal imaging camera so this is a thermal camera view so this is how we look for short circuits on the board so let's just put power and see what's getting hot on this board here we go one two three mm. something here is getting hot here in this area let's disconnect the power once yeah heat is going away so the normal board temperature is about 30 32 33 degrees let's power put the power back again one two three and the point which is getting heated it's about 150 degrees so it is getting boiling hot actually so my thermal camera uh, limit is 150 degrees so if it is solidly stuck on 150 degrees that means that it is getting more hotter than 150 degrees uh, let me just get back uh, with the microscopic view as to which component and which area of the board is getting hot so this is it so the normal board temperature is about 39 40 degrees and the spot which is getting hot is 150 degrees plus that means it is getting boiling hot in that area so this is the area which was getting hot under the thermal camera so let me just show you the difference you can see alcohol is jizzing away and the alcohol on the next cap is intact but this particular cap is getting jizzing so that is the capacitor which is causing the shot so let me just remove the cap and get back You can see. Let me show it to you once again. You can see the difference. The cap from which the alcohol is evaporating quickly, that is the problematic cap. So we have removed the problematic capacitor. So this was the culprit. This absolutely looks fine under the microscope. It doesn't have any crack or burnt or anything, but this capacitor has failed. So this capacitor is on the line, the high voltage line, which is 8.6 volts. Uh, so the cap has been removed. So let me just check if it is taking 500 milliamps plus and the fan is spinning or not. Here we go. One, two, three. Green light. Wow, fan is spinning. And the amperage is taking 500 milliamps. So the MacBook is fixed. 600, 500. So we are done. So this cap is the culprit. So now I am going to replace this cap from a donor board. I will show you how is it under the microscope. So this is the place where that capacitor belongs to. So I am going to replace that capacitor with a good one. So I will replace this capacitor. 
I'll put the board back in the casing and I'll get back from there. So here we are. Everything is put back. So the problematic capacitor was this one. This was the one which was causing the entire board to not power. So now it's all in the casing. So assuming the battery has power, let's push uh, the power button from the keyboard. Here we go. One, two, three. Wow. Fan is spinning. Oh, we have a chime. So let's see whether it's going to. Oh, wow. So let's just hide the client's name. Great. MacBook fixed. One more win. Thank you for watching. See you all in the next video.